LEGO Fantasy Era Castle is one of my favorite castle themes, and it ran from 2007 to 2009. And in this video, I'm going to rank every LEGO Fantasy Era Castle set, and I'm not including the chess set. Number 22 is the Knight, and there are a few of these sets that are small, simple builds and a minifigure. And these seem to be a nice way to get a figure, but these sets are just not that interesting. The Knight figure is simple and is an okay figure, it's just not that unique. I do like the build for the stand with the armor and weapons, but it's not enough to move it higher on this list. Number 21 is the Good Wizard. And I almost put this one last because I like the build less, but I put it higher because I like the wizard figure a lot more than the knight. The wizard figure is unique in this theme, and I like the sand blue color and printing. I don't like the builds in this set that much though. One is a perch for an owl, and the other is a table with a crystal ball on it. Number 20 is the Skeleton Chariot, and I'm not sure how this set was released or if it even was released, but I'm including it anyway. The minifigure is just a standard evil skeleton, and there is a cool skeleton horse. The Chariot is an alright build and I like the red color on it, but I don't love it. Number 19 is Knight and Catapult, and this one definitely wasn't released. And because of that, I originally wasn't going to include it, but it's simple enough to build it yourself, so I put it on the list anyway. It comes with another regular Knight figure, but I do like the build in this one. It's a simple catapult with a barrel to hold some weapons. Number 18 is Troll Warrior, and this is my favorite of these small sets with one minifigure. And it's my favorite because I love the troll figures in this theme. Sand green is one of my favorite colors in LEGO, and the speckled helmet is really cool. The build is a ballista with a flickfire missile, and I don't like this build that much, but the troll figure is so good that it elevates this set a little. Number 17 is Crossbow Attack. It comes with three minifigures, two knights, and a skeleton. And there's also a skeleton horse. The main build is another ballista with crossbows on it. It has a neat shooting feature with a rubber band, and this is a shooting feature I haven't really seen before, so that's cool, but overall this set isn't that interesting. Number 16 is Dwarves Mind Defender. It comes with three minifigures, one dwarf with a cool beard and helmet, and two trolls. The Mind Defender looks like a fun build. I don't love the look of the wheels, but there are some decent features. There is a big catapult in the back that you can launch stuff with by pulling a chain, and the saws in the front can move. Also, the trolls come with a cool banner. Number 15 is Knight's Catapult Defense. It comes with four minifigures, two knights and two skeletons, one being a cool black one. The main build is the catapult that can rotate and launch boulders. This is another build I don't love the look of, mainly because of the wheels, but the play feature is good. And the skeletons come with a small barricade, which is a simple build, but I like it. Number 14 is Troll Assault Wagon. It comes with four figures, two knights, one regular troll warrior, and a big fig troll, which is nice to see. The Assault Wagon is another build I don't love the look of, but it does look fun for play. On top, there is a big shield with a banner, and below the banner, there is a very cool shooting mechanism that has multiple missiles. The big troll pulls the wagon, being led by a turkey leg, and the knights just come with a cart to carry some weapons. Number 13 is Tower Ray. It comes with five minifigures, two knights and three trolls, one of which is a really cool armored troll. The trolls come with a vehicle that has some really neat features made for raiding the tower. On the bottom there is a battering ram with a bull head to ram the tower and this is my favorite feature in this set. And on the second level there is a platform that can come out to reach a higher level of the tower. The next build is the actual tower which doesn't have as good of features but I like the look of it better. On the bottom level there is a wall that can be smashed in to let a troll out who was imprisoned. And on the top the knights can defend with some flick fire missiles. Number 12 is the skeleton's prison carriage. It comes with five minifigures, two knights and three skeletons. The prison carriage is an okay build but it doesn't completely do it for me. The shape of it just looks a little off, but I really like the idea for this. It comes with a cage to hold a prisoner and places for skeletons to keep guard. There's also three skeleton horses to pull the carriage, and for the knights they just come with one horse. Number 11 is the final joust. It comes with two minifigures, one knight and one skeleton, both armored. And they each come with a horse, an armored horse for the knight and a black skeleton horse for the skeleton. And from what I can tell, this skeleton horse only comes in one other set, that being a Harry Potter set, so it's pretty unique. The builds aren't that interesting though. There's just a simple jousting fence and a small armory area. Number 10 is the King's Battle Chariot. It comes with four minifigures, the King which is a pretty cool figure, one knight, and two trolls. The build for the chariot isn't anything too special, but it does look nice with the blue and gold color scheme. And it comes with a horse in front to pull it and a chest full of treasure in the back. Number 9 is the Troll Battle Wheel. It comes with six minifigures, three knights, and three trolls with some more cool armor. 
What I really like about this set is how unique the build is. The battle wheel is just made of two giant wheels with a platform on top for the trolls to command from and there are trolls running on top of the wheels to control it. On the back there is a handle with a trigger to shoot off a rubber tip missile which is really nice and the handle makes it easier to move it. The knights just have a barricade with another catapult which probably doesn't stand much of a chance against the battle wheel. Number 8 is King's Castle Siege and it comes with 10 minifigures. The king, 5 knights, and 4 skeletons. The knights come with a horse and the skeletons come with a cool dragon. The castle is a pretty good build but it looks like a lot of other similar castles that we have gotten from LEGO. It doesn't really differentiate itself that much but I still like it. It has a bunch of defensive positions with different catapults. There's a drawbridge in the front with a gate that can lift it up, on the side there is a wall that can be smashed in, and there is a big door in the back. On the inside there is an armory, a main tower with the king's throne, and some treasure below him. There's a smaller tower that has a jail cell and a bridge in between the towers that can rotate to drop enemies. The castle can also be taken apart into sections and be rearranged. Number 7 is Skeleton Ship Attack. It comes with 7 minifigures, 3 knights, and 4 skeletons, one of which is a captain with a beard. The set is made up of two builds, both of which I really like. The first build is the skeleton ship and it looks very cool with the red and black color scheme, and the tattered skeleton sail with the wings on the back. It has a shooting feature on the front, some glow in the dark pieces, an anchor, and a plank on the side. The other build is a castle dock area with a gate which I think I like a little more than the ship. On the dock there is a feature to drop the planks for someone to fall in and there is a catapult with a treasure chest underneath. And the interior is pretty small and empty. Number 6 is Drawbridge Defense. It comes with 7 minifigures. The Queen, a Jester, a very nice gold knight, a regular knight, and 3 skeletons. And there's also another skeleton horse. The build looks like a fun playset and this tower is just a really good looking build. The main feature is of course the drawbridge mechanism to lift the bridge which is very cool. The interior is really empty though, there is nothing inside besides the actual mechanism on the second floor, and on top there's just a flick fire missile. Number 5 is the Troll Warship. It comes with 9 minifigures, 1 knight, 1 dwarf, 6 trolls, and 1 big fig troll. The warship is a really cool build and a different type of ship than we usually see. I like the flags with the troll symbols on them and this is just a really good ship design. It has a shooting mechanism in the front that can spin around to shoot in any direction and this is a really good shooting feature. There's also a cage in the middle and a net to hold a dwarf that can be lifted up and down. It comes with a green dragon for the knight to ride and two smaller boats that are held on either side of the ship. Number 4 is the skeleton tower and it comes with 5 minifigures. A princess, a knight, a really cool evil wizard, and two skeletons. The build for the tower is another really awesome build that seems to be the main base for the skeletons. It has a nice skull on the front with a mechanism to lift up the jaw. There's a small catapult on top and a bone cage to hold the princess. On the interior there's just a spider web but besides that it's empty. Also it comes with a red dragon and a horse for the knight. Number 3 is Dwarves Mine and it comes with 7 minifigures, 4 dwarfs, 2 trolls, and a tan troll with bronze armor which only came in one other set, that being the chest set. The idea of this set is a little more unique being a mine which is not common for a castle theme, and the actual mine build is great. There is a lot going on in this build with a lot of features. There is a minecart track with some nice carts with a big door in the middle, and there is a wheel on the top right that can lift up or bring down some ore and there's just different ways to move the ore around and into the carts. There is a really good looking catapult build on the top left that can launch a cool dual molded rock piece. And on the top middle there is a throne for one of the dwarves. This is just another very fun playset. Number 2 is Trolls Mountain Fortress. It comes with 10 minifigures, the king, 3 knights, the troll king and queen, 2 regular trolls, and 2 big fig trolls. And there's also a horse. The fortress serves as the main base for the trolls and I love the style of the build and how it's put together and run down with all the vines. I also really like the look of the main gate and there are two axes that can come down right after the entrance. There's two catapults on the two front towers and the two big trolls guard below that. On the main tower in the back there are stairs leading up to what looks like a crystal ball and there's a cell above that to hold the king. Besides that there's not much else to the interior but the main tower can be separated and the wall can open up to give the fortress a different look. And number 1 is Medieval Market Village. It comes with 8 minifigures, 2 knights, and 6 villagers. This is a really fantastic set and is usually regarded as one of the best castle sets ever. This is also different from all the other sets in this theme because it's more focused on the regular villagers and in a regular village setting. There are two buildings and I love both of them. The first one is a tan building. On the bottom there is a blacksmith area with a water wheel and a little stable area for the horse. And the upstairs is pretty simple with just a table and a fireplace. The second building is the blue building and on the bottom there is a little tavern and the upstairs has a nice bedroom. And both buildings can fold to be completely enclosed and they look good like that too. 
Besides that, there are some smaller builds and animals to fill out the set more. There is a really good looking tree build, a little market stand, a horse with a cart, and two cows. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Fantasy Era castle set. This was a great castle theme with some great sets and I would love to see another castle theme like this someday. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time, goodbye.